Hey guys, Emmy here, also known as 8 Vinyl Low, bringing you all another video. Today's video is going to be my September vinyl haul slash update video. Uh, it's going to actually stretch back from the end of August up to, actually I think Friday I got my, my last record that I want to show in this video. So, September vinyl record haul, super excited to show you guys what I have picked up over the past month, month and a half. Um, I have a decent sized st stack here, so I'm going to try to get through this as fast as I can and try not to mumble and bleh. So, because I know it, you just want to see the records, you want to see what I picked up. So, uh, some of these releases are record store day releases, so from drop number one and drop number two records that I... I wasn't able to grab in the store, but I was able to get online. So I'm going to show those kind of first, and then I'll show everything else as we kind of kind of go along. But the first thing that I want to do is I received a VCLT package in the mail, and it didn't come in a, a usual box, but I do want to show this and say thank you to Trish over at DJ Trish. She had uh, sent me a VCLT package, which included, and if you don't know Trish, I'm going to link her down below. Go check her out. She is a sweetheart. But if you do know Trish, you know her mixtapes, and she sent some my way. Um, the first one is Beach Time number one, 2020. And the second one is Beach Time number two, 2020, or Beach Time 2020 number two. So two beach mixtapes, which I'm super excited about. It's going to make me miss summer a little bit. Miss summer a little bit. Uh, well, not this summer. Screw this summer. <laughs> um, but... Just warm weather and, and stuff like that. But I will say, I think fall is my favorite season. So if fall is your favorite season, let me know down below. Uh, but she also sent some stickers in the package. A beach sticker, sticker to go with the theme. That almost reminds me of Zeppelin. DJ Trish. She also sent me a coffee sticker. So Trish, thank you so much. She also sent me a note that I want to read off real quick says, Dear Emma, well, I'm glad we're reconnected again. Here is some VCLT. There's a beach house theme here. I hope you enjoy. I also included some stickers, including a few of mine. You may keep them or give them to other music-loving uh, friends. Peace, love, and music, Trish. So, uh, Trish, thank you so much. Like I said, I love your mixtapes. She sent me a whole package last time with mixtapes and CDs, so she is such a sweetheart. Go check her out if you, you haven't already. Um, but thank you so much, Trish. I'm very excited about that. Now, getting into the vinyl portion of this video, my vinyl record haul. Like I said, don't want to take up too much time, so we are going to kind of go through them fairly, fairly quickly. These are records you guys all know. Well, some of them. There's an obscure one in here that I'm even going to have trouble explain, <laughs> explaining, so we'll go through this. Okay, first here from this record store day drop number two i made a video about it i called it a bust the distribution was off stores weren't getting releases um drop number two was tough so if you want to see that video about me ranting about drop number two but also picking up some cool non record store day related vinyl go watch that video um but if you didn't or whatever i was able to grab what i wasn't able to grab last week um so I posted that video, that Record Store Day video, around, I think, noon that day. And then about 10 minutes later, I was able to pick up the, the releases online um, from different record stores online when they release their inventory. So we're all good. Um, so I was able to get, this was like the popular release in the vinyl community. Of course, at the top of my, uh, my want list being a blues rock album. Uh, I think they're from the Bay Area Parish Hall. This has been shown so many times now since since Record Store Day drop number two. I'm sure I don't have to talk about this, but very excited to have this in my collection. This was one of those albums that my store didn't carry, and it was just a tough find. So happy to have this. I got this from Dusty Groove online, great Chicago store. So happy to grab that. All right, this one is in my top three for all record store days, uh, 2020. So of course, Cheap Trick, right? That's next month, that was my number one. My number two is also next month and that is the Rory Gallagher release. But number three was this release and I wasn't able to grab it at my store, but I was able to get it online for regular price. I think it cost me like $33. I think that's what it cost in store. Um, great price because I've been seeing the prices just skyrocket. 
I did grab the Yardbirds. Whew. It's one thing off my list. I really, really wanted this release. So as you can tell, I have not cracked this open yet. I got this yesterday. Um, so very excited to have this in, in my hands. I didn't know that would be anytime soon, especially with the prices on, you know, eBay and stuff. It's crazy. Discogs even, you know, 80 plus dollars. Ridiculous. Um, but happy to grab this. I got this from Dearborn Music. They posted their inventory online and I was just lucky enough to, to be the faster clicker. I don't know. So grab that. Um, next album is a release from Record Store Day Drop number one. You guys know I've been on this crazy, crazy, crazy Burt Janch exploration, Burt Janch kick lately. Can't get enough of him. Um, this is a release that I actually got a couple of weeks ago, but this is the first time I'm making a haul video in a while. So I did end up getting that Burt Janch live in Italy release. I think this was a recording from 77, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Mazzy was talking about this in his video, mentioned that it's a little lo-fi, eh, um, but still Burt Janch, absolutely incredible. So as someone who's trying to be complete Burt Janch completist, this was a must grab. So very excited to have this. Um, this was put out by Earth Recordings on the label there. You can see Earth Recordings. Uh, they have put out a variety of Burt Janch reissues, wonderful reissues. They sound great. Um, I have been so pleased with Earth Recordings, and actually, they are issuing Crimson Moon, a later Burt Janch album, that I think should have came out in September. I have a pre-order on it at the end of September, um, but it didn't. So I think it got pushed back a little bit, but I'm excited about that release. I'll talk about it when I get that in, but I grabbed that. Also, non-Record Store Day related. Haven't cracked the seal on this either. I'm slacking. I haven't, I've been so busy with work. I haven't gotten a lot of listening in, but we'll catch up. We'll get there. Um, Burt Janch from the outside. Again, this was a reissue by Earth Recordings, a later Janch album from the 80s. Absolutely love him. Absolutely adore his stuff. This is the limited edition red vinyl edition. I also think there is a gold slash yellow. So, Eventually, <laughs> will I grab the gold and yellow? I don't know. I need to complete my uh, my discography in my collection, but I really am aiming to be a completist because I'm just obsessed right now. I, I just connect with his music so, so much. So grab that. All right, moving on to the next. If you watch my videos, you know that I posted a video a couple weeks ago well, if you watch my video, you're watching now. That's a good start. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I posted a video a couple weeks ago talking about this weird experience uh, experience that I had with Jimi Hendrix on the 50th anniversary of his death. And it really shook me. It freaked me out. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check that video. It's a couple videos back. Um, but I did end up that day. <laughs> I was so freaked out. I said, this means something buy more vinyl. <laughs> so I picked up a release that I've wanted for some time. This is uh, the Hendrix release, Band of Gypsies. This is the 50th anniversary uh, edition reissue that I think came out at the beginning of this summer, so summer 2020, I think maybe May or June. And I have heard nothing but amazing things about this release. So I cannot wait to give this a listen. Like I said, I still need to crack this open. I'm hoping to get a lot of listening done this weekend and next weekend. Um, next weekend is going to be a four day weekend for me. So these are getting cracked open. I got to listen. All right. These next three releases, I picked up brand new. They're all colored wax pressed by third man records, which you know is going to sound great. Put out by Sundays slash modern harmonic, which you know is going to be uh, a, a great release. These are some soul slash funk comps and I got all of them together for $21. So these were like six, seven dollar records on Amazon, brand new sealed. Um, I'm not sure what was going on. I mean, you know, I was talking to Jeff Kempen and Tim at High Noon's Vinyl, John Digital Grandpa, all of it, Bill Vinylverse, Brad, uh, H2 Vinyl, and it's just really bizarre that these releases were that cheap. So I grabbed them all. 21 bucks, can't beat it. Um, 
but I've played them all, I've listened to them, and I have to say, absolutely amazing soul comps. So if you need more soul in your collection, which you do, you do, um, then pick these up. I don't know if they're still like $6, but grab them. If you see them for $6, seriously, grab it. Um, first one, Sunday's Music Presents. My goodness, yes, Soul Treasures from the Silver Fox label on that kind of clear gold. Amazing. Sunday's Music Presents Shake What You Brought from SSS International label compilation. Same kind of gold concept there. Clear gold. Sounds great. And then this one was the last one that I grabbed out of the three. And I got this, I think, for $5.88. Brand new. Bobby Patterson, My Thing Is Your Thing. Jetstar uh, Strut from Bobby Patterson. Pressed on white vinyl put out by Modern Harmonic. Um, so like I said, if you need soul in your collection, which I know you do, I know you do, then grab these. These sound great. And the price, you can't beat them. If you find them for six, seven dollars, grab them. Um, also picked up another 2020 reissue that just came out last month. This is the uh, 2020 reissue of Nirvana's Bleach. Amazing album. Amazing, amazing album. One that I've wanted in my collection on vinyl. And I did get the red and black. I also think there was a blue and black. But I liked the red, so I grabbed this one. Um, but if you've been on the fence about grabbing this reissue, grab it. Don't mean to, you know, be an enabler, but it's fantastic. Um, sounds great. All right, also grabbed, this was at the beginning of the month, actually. I don't know if this has been shown a lot in the vinyl community, but this is Kennel Miss and their album Folkstone Prism from, I want to say 1970 or 1971, so early 70s. It is a surf psychedelic sounding album very psychedelic but also very surf sounding so um very obscure very unique right which is what you're gonna get with a psychedelic psychedelic album this was put out by modern harmonic which is tied to to sundays and a band originally they're they're from arizona or were from arizona um yeah, I think the original pressing of this album, they only pressed maybe 300 or 400 copies. So, you know, can't find it anywhere. Um, but yeah, I, I don't even know how to explain this album. I have listened to it probably three or four times now. I'm digging it. I'm absolutely digging it. And the more I listen, the more I like get it and vibe with it more. Um, it's just so obscure, I guess. All right, my ca my camera just died on me, but we're back. Pretend nothing happened. Kennel Miss, Folks on Prism. Uh, I think I left off with it being extremely obscure. Totally, it's just, it's it's a journey. Let's just put it that way. Um, I don't know how else to explain this. Surf, Psychedelic, from the 70s, band from Arizona. Very obscure, very unique. Strange, but also really interesting and captivating and I really like it I'm really digging it so go check this out if you have it and that kind of sounds like something that's your thing uh final two triple LP of course you guys know this one cream reunion tw uh, 2005 Royal Albert Hall triple LP like I said and this was on Amazon for $25 I figured that was an extremely extremely good deal so I pulled the trigger right away it's one I've wanted for a while. You guys know I love uh, cream, so great grab. And then finally, an album that I have been obsessed with lately. Seriously obsessed to the point where I listen it, to it um, in the car at least once every week on my way to and from work because I have about a 30-minute drive, um, but probably more like twice a week. I have been just digging this album. Of course, The Kinks, uh, Village Green Preservation Society, I am obsessed with this album. So of course I needed to get it on vinyl. I don't know what compelled me to listen to this because I've listened to it a couple of times, um, obviously digitally, because I didn't own this. And you know, it was good. 
And then just recently, I've just been vibing with it. Totally vibing. Um, so of course I had to pick this up on vinyl. I think this is the 50th anniversary reissue. Um, I love this album. It's one of my favorite albums right now. I'm just digging it. So, um, but yeah, besides that little break, right, that never happened, uh, then my cameras. Whew. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for this video. That is my September, end of August, right up to October vinyl haul. Trish, thank you so much for the VCLT. All of you watching, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if any of these albums interested you or whatever it is. Um, but be well out there, stay safe, and I will see you all for my next video. Bye, guys.